Parker's debrief is going to be one for the ages. What am I? I'm a... Are you heading to the meeting? Soon. Hey, I knew Peter was going to come through. Uh, Something on your mind? Nothing important. Isn't the angry children meeting tonight? Emo kids? Yes, that. I can never keep up with a modern lingo. Took me a decade to rid myself of thee and thou. The meeting is tonight. Then I should wrap up. Are you going to the meeting? Very soon. I'll see you there. I bet you've heard nothing but ringing Venom's Liberty Bell jokes. Once again, Hunter, your fury and training shine through. Lilith may have underestimated you, Hunter. Gotta thank Peter. Maybe now the others will start actually listening to us for a change. Ready to head to the emo kids meeting? Lead the way. Nico runs these meetings? Yes, so far. Then I'll wait for her to begin. Feels like we're getting closer to figuring out how you died. It's not too much, is it? During the ritual, it is like I am two people pulled in opposite directions. Hmm. Well, if it's too much, you say the word and we'll call it off, okay? Okay. Ileana wants to lead the ritual this time. That surprised me. Why? Magic taking the lead and caretaker staying out of her way? Uh, the world must be ending. Oh, right. It is. The ritual today will be unlike before. How so? We shall make real progress. I refuse to coddle you as the others did. I will push you beyond your limits. For this to work, I must break you. Do what you need to do. Do not be complacent. Without preparation, there is a possibility of damage. This is why you collected the ingredients I asked you to bring. Are you ready to begin? You may proceed. Limbo never forgets. It holds the echo of your death. What is your last memory? Lilith. A muddy circle in a clearing. Then I shall bring that echo to you. Now you become its vessel. I am ready. My head, it, it is, it is her, it is Lilith, in the circle. Do not fight the echo, allow it to wash through you. No, I, she sees me. I advance, prepared to strike. She just watches me. Whoa, is that? It is. My child, look what they've done to you. You have no right to call me child, monster. So, misguided. I have never sought to harm you. Your army says otherwise. A distraction to allow for this moment. Ileana, stop this, right now! Enough deceit. Speak plainly or suffer the consequences. Ileana! No! We must proceed! 
How plain can I make this, my child? If I am to remake this world, I need you at my side. Enough! Ilungo, retina cura! No! You had no right to do that. Stopping your recklessness is my obligation. Stopping the ritual early could have destroyed the hunter's mind. The only threat to Hunter was your sloppy technique. You are impossible! You will never attempt this again. Do not constrain me. Just gonna stand here and hope they don't involve me. Yup. Mm -hmm. Um, how you doing, Hunter? Had I not hesitated, I could have stopped so much pain and suffering. She's your mother. It's never that simple. As long as you're okay, I'm okay. The good news? We are definitely closing in. That's more than enough for today. You ready to leave? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. Still reading Wanda's grimoire, I see? Yeah. Why? You got an opinion about it? I admire your determination in your pursuit of dark knowledge, as well as loyalty to your friend. Ugh, I just... Wish there was more dark knowledge on these pages, but I'm just gonna have to make do with what's here. According to her grimoire, it looks like Agatha was helping Wanda control her connection to chaos magic. And since chaos magic is a hell of a lot more powerful and ancient than Lilith, I'm thinking there's a way I can figure out how to use it to undo Lilith's hold on her. Chaos magic is the darkest and most treacherous magic you can play with. It is said to come from Cthon himself. If you are planning on dabbling in it, you will need my help. Uh, you're not, like, afraid of messing with hardcore Elder God magic and inventing a potentially dangerous new spell? I am dangerous. <laughs> okay, danger. You can help me by not telling Caretaker what I'm up to. She doesn't believe Lil and Corruption can be undone and will totally try and stop me. She lacks your imagination. <laughs> she lacks more than that. Well, if we're really gonna try this, I've got a lot of reading to do to try and figure this out. And I shall keep your secrets. Mum's the word, Hunt. Hunter, I may have found something of interest to you. The means to surmount that obstacle you were so interested in. The secret lies with the symbiote you recovered. If my suspicions are correct, it can be used to disrupt your troublesome ward in the same way that my own wards of protection fell at the Sanctum Sanctorum. What do I have to do? Without going off on an overly technical Starkian rant, the alien itself has a very unusual composition. Its seemingly gelatinous structure seems to interfere with the ward's resonance frequency when channeled with the appropriate magic. You are not going to ask me to retrieve more of the creature, are you? That shouldn't be necessary. Although a cooperative venom would be invaluable here, I think we can make do with what's left from before. I left a vial of the symbiote on my desk in the forge. If you're intent on removing the ward, take it with you. Discreetly. Thank you for pursuing this further, Doctor. I doubt anyone else could have made this kind of discovery. You're too kind, Hunter. Besides, I think our mutual friend has done quite well in guiding you so far. I am very grateful to have such insightful friends. 
Say hello for me sometime, would you? I will, Doctor. And now I should be getting back to my work, but do be careful out there, Hunter, and don't forget about the vial on my desk. The doctor crafted a strange brew that might bring down the ward. Maybe he learned something new while snooping around in my library. If nothing else, he knows about you, Agatha, that you are helping me. He's a very perceptive man. Perhaps it's for the best. There's no sense in worrying about it now, at any rate. Let's see if you can banish this ward. Hello, Hunter. Strange has made something from a sample of Venom Symbiote. He thinks it may dispel the ward in the cave behind Shaw's church. I thought he may be onto something. He spent quite a lot of time in the library recently. The doctor came up with something, but I am not so sure. Try Strange's concoction on the ward. appear to be human bones. I suspect we've finally found the last resting place of Hiram Shaw. Judging by the looks of this place, he was locked down here for quite some time. I can't say I pity him. But how would he have ended up like this? Someone sealed him in and made sure there was no chance of ever escaping. Someone? From what we've seen, I believe this was your mother's handiwork. She must have used the Darkhold page taken from Shaw to seal his fate. Literally. And I'm sure that means Sarah was at the very least aware of what Lilith had done. My mother was right to do this. I can't be so sure, but I'm certainly not feeling any sympathy for his plight. I would hope not, considering what he did to the Coven. I can only imagine how angry Lilith and Sarah were when they finally arrived in Salem. In some ways, locking Shaw down here almost seems merciful. I do not see the Moon Seal here. You're right. I don't sense its power here either. I found highly detailed drawings on Shaw's desk. They were concealed with some kind of magic. Magic that's no match for you, it seems. Let's give those drawings a closer look. These drawings. They're witch warrens. Places where a witch might hide using magical means. Judging from the detail he put into these, Shaw must have studied the warrens for a long time before making his move. He tortured them there. Yes. 
I suspect so. Why? The witches wouldn't give up the Moon Seal. Our gift doomed the Salem Coven to an unimaginable fate. These drawings may yet be useful. I will bring them back to the library for further study. Meet me there tomorrow night. <laughs> I should have guessed. Guessed what? That you wanted to show me another movie. Uh, not just another movie, my favorite movie. It's something I make all my friends watch with me. What makes this movie stand out from the rest? Watch and see. Why is she wearing that hideous red dress? Oh, you're tearing me apart, Hunter. Pay attention. It is a bit difficult. This movie is rather terrible. It's called Camp Hunter. It's supposed to be a little bad, but in a good way. Besides, it's a cult classic. Kind of like you. I will try and take that as a compliment. You're really starting to fit in with the rest of us, you know? We might just make a midnight sun out of you yet. Seems like you have got a lot on your mind. You could say that. Do you need to share? I always wanted to be good at my job, but now I think it's possible to be so good you're actually terrible. Explain. Okay, I really wanted to show off how I could get a sample of Venom's symbiote, right? And you did. Right! Yay me! But in getting it, I left poor Eddie trapped under a heap of rubble. We are all going through the same thing. For every victory, there will be a cost. Some worse than others. I wish I could be as cool as you. I just keep imagining Eddie and the symbiote trapped under all that stone and brick. I never wanted to hurt them, you know? I never wanted to hurt the guy. You know? I know, Peter. Eddie Brock may be troubled, sure. We all are. I guess that's why I can't shake the feeling that there's more I could have done. Like digging him out of the rubble? No. I mean helping him turn his life around. The way real heroes are supposed to. Who knows? Maybe you will someday. Yeah. Big emphasis on maybe. If only Tony or Strange invented some kind of time machine, I could go back and keep Eddie from going down this path. Stranger things have happened. Thanks for the chat, Hunter. I've got a lot to think about. If anyone needs me, I'll just be... here. Sighing deeply. <sighs> How is the sample analysis going? Oh, you mean the vial of demonic alien goo Peter took out of poor Eddie. That sample analysis? That is the one. In a word, gross. But a fascinating kind of gross. This symbiote exists as a whole at the molecular level. Every atom of it is a self-sustaining, slimy little entity in and of itself. Yet when the molecules bond, they undergo a change state that can only be described as something out of abstract expressionism, and I can see your eyes glazing over right now. I am sure this makes sense to you, but try to remember I am not from this time. I am still getting used to the idea of lights that turn on when you flip a switch. <laughs> right. I will slow down a bit, skip the science babble, and get right to the point. I think we can use Venom's slime sample as the basis of a suit. Like a Venom suit? No, not like Venom. No symbiosis. It would exist as an anti-symbiote, to protect you the next time you two meet. Think of it as a kind of armor. Strange and I are working on a design right now. Give me 24 hours, and I think you'll be very pleased. Awesome! 
Yeah, wait! Better to have it and not need it, right? Absolutely not. You go too far, Nico. Last time you tried to save Wanda, you almost got us all killed. I will not let you risk the safety of this abbey again. Listen to yourself. I think I have a way of purifying Lilith's corruption, a way of bringing back both Wanda and Banner, and your response is to shut me down. I told you time and time again, there is no way of removing corruption. Just because you failed and never found a way of doing it doesn't mean I can't. What are you so afraid of? That I'll actually succeed? No, I'm afraid you're becoming just like Wanda. Oh, I see how it is. You always hated her, and now you're gonna turn that hate on to me too. That's not what I meant. Nico, wait. Let me explain. I don't need your explanation. I need you to stay out of my way. Let me guess. You came out here to see if I'm okay. Are you okay, Nico? No, I won't be okay until we get Wanda back, but you already know that. I just wish Caretaker trusted me more. I mean, I'm not a kid, you know? I'm a ridiculously experienced witch with ridiculously amazing powers. She should be letting me use my talents to help the team, but instead all she does is doubt my ability to do anything. Just do not let her make you doubt yourself. Don't worry, I won't. I know who I am and what I'm capable of. I'm not gonna let someone as bottled up as her to tell me otherwise. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her back. And when Caretaker tries to stop you? She can get out of the way. Or get run over. Now excuse me, I've got a free wand to spell to craft. you have any ideas on how to keep this team from unraveling? Because I'd love to hear them. I'm at my wit's end, Hunter. Nico is hell-bent on finding some spell in Wanda's grimoire to remove Lilith's hold on our... <sighs> unfortunate friends. And I can't seem to dissuade her from putting our lives in danger again. You would think she would have learned her lesson with that magic mirror trick she pulled, but now she's just doubling down on darkness. What do you think I should do about her? Because I am at a complete loss. Have you considered that she may be on to something? And maybe you should trust her? Why? So she can get us all killed? Nico lost her trust with me the moment she went behind my back and tried to rescue Wanda with you and the others. I simply cannot afford to trust her again. Not until she demonstrates that she's willing and able to cast spells responsibly. Nico is a talented witch, no doubt. But if she persists on this trajectory, she will suffer the same fate as Wanda. Perhaps you can talk her down. She's more likely to listen to you than me. Thanks, Hunter. Nico is certainly as daring as Caretaker is cautious. Attempting to remove Lilith's corruption is not a magical endeavor for the faint of heart. Is it even possible to remove it? I'm not sure, actually. It's something I should do a little research on. But if it is, one thing is for sure. All magic has its price. The question is, are you willing to pay it 
to help get Wanda back. I am not so much concerned with what toll this magic could take on me, but on Nico. I do not want to see her fall. But you should be concerned with affect you. I know I am. You are more vulnerable than you know. The crack in your collar may be hardly noticeable to the naked eye, but it's a significant crack in your energetic armor. A spiritual vulnerability that cannot be overlooked or understated. A vulnerability she will exploit. If you choose to defy Sarah and help Nico remove Lilith's hold on Wanda, it might be at your own peril. Be assured, Agatha. I have no intention of unnecessarily risking myself or anyone else in this abbey. You always protected others from the powers of darkness, even if it was your own mother. Something I loved about you when I was alive, and still love about you now that I'm gone. Whatever happens, Hunter, just remember to keep yourself intact. We can't take on Lilith without you. Have you learned anything? These drawings are definitely of locations around the Abbey. As far as how this helps us find the Salem Coven's moon seal, I'm at a loss. Let's discuss this again tonight, after I've had more time to think. Good girl, Charlie. What is on your mind, Doctor? Shh. Just stand here with me a moment. I want to see if you can sense what I'm sensing. <sighs> yes, I can see you feel it too. The magical energies that flow through the ether into the Sanctum grow stronger. I've been locked away from them for too long, but when Tony and I complete your armor, it will be only a matter of time before we retake the Sanctum. My mind races with nervous excitement at the thought of stepping back into my great cosmic library to stand in my power once again. You never lost your true power, Doctor. You stand in it now. That's kind of you to say, but since Venom evicted me from my home, it's no secret that I have felt diminished. I was so used to seeing the future, anticipation became a foreign sensation. Now that's all I feel. When I finally regain my sight into our many possible futures again, I'll finally be able to exhale. Until then, I must wait with bated breath, keeping faith that you will deliver a victory to us. I hope so. May the Eye of Agamotto watch over us all. Hey, Hunter. It was hard enough getting used to the Midnight Suns. Now we have doubled in size. You are one of the Midnight Suns. Now, yes, but not at the beginning. I was the strange woman who spoke to no one. It must be worse for you, Hunter. All the faces are new, except for Caretaker. I enjoy meeting new people. It keeps me grounded in this century. 
I also came here knowing only caretaker. And what did I do? I hid in my room for weeks. I will tell you a secret. Do not laugh. I have a tiny envy for how you make friends so quickly. How so? It comes so easy to you. Even when you are a bat. You are a likable bat. You like my butt. Hunter, this, this, right here? This is you being a butt. As long as I'm likable. Ha, <laughs> up for debate. Whatever you're doing, keep doing. Don't waste the time hiding in your room. We must do this again. I've been trying to puzzle together whether Salem Coven hid the Moon Seal from Shaw. Have you discovered something? Shaw's drawings. He was looking for the Salem witches who had gone into hiding. Who might help us? But they told him nothing. And where he failed, we may still find the answers we need. I do not follow. We're going to make a magical phone call. Find each witch warren using Shaw's maps, and collect a sample of soil from each. Soil stained with a witch's lifeblood is a powerful magical catalyst. It may be enough. Study Shaw's maps, and bring back a sample of soil from each witch warren. That soil may be potent enough to commune with the Salem witches. Which sign? This must be a warren. The soil Agatha wants must be nearby. This is one of the witch warrens. What terrible fate did this witch suffer? Which sign? This must be a warren. The soil Agatha wants must be nearby. This place resembles one of Shaw's drawings. You are not forgotten.
Which sign? This must be a warren. The soil Agatha wants must be nearby. This is one of the witch wardens. What does Agatha want with this soil? I have collected the soil you asked for, but you never told me why we are doing this. Soil stained with a witch's blood is potent stuff. In the wrong hands, it can be very dangerous. In the right hands, well, I just hope it's potent enough. This is going to help us find the Moon Seal? The Salem Coven stashed it away, somewhere safe. I'm thinking the best way to find out where it is, is to ask them directly. Meet me at the Elemental Altar. What is all this? Everyone knows you can't commune with the spirits without plenty of candles, dear. Witchcraft 101. I would stand back if I were you. I expected a solemn ritual, but I think you are enjoying this. <laughs> I haven't been part of a seance in years. And look, it's working. Is that... a tree? That's not just any tree. It's the hanging tree. Those old girls hid the moon seal in plain sight. Shaw would have never suspected the seal was hidden in the very place he murdered his enemies. Where might I find this hanging tree? In the time of the Salem Coven, it was not far from Shaw's church. The Abbey's magic tends to rearrange things, though. You may have to explore in order to find it. This must be the hanging tree. How many innocents died under these branches? in the hands of the Knights of Wondagore, to the Witches of Salem. That seal has covered quite a bit of ground. Despite Shaw's evil, the Coven protected it to the last. We've seen Cathan's corruption spreading on the outskirts of the grounds. Take this seal to the Reflecting Pool. Your next trial waits for you there. <laughs> 